Hello, uh, this is JP, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do symmetrical texture repetition. Um, this is a typical effect of a lot of psychedelics where basically, if you look here, there's obvious, um, like almost kaleidoscopic effect. It's just very symmetrical. It forms patterns and stuff like that. Um, this is a very easy effect to do. Um, so let's get started. Basically what you're going to want to do first is bring in what, whatever picture you want to edit. So I have this one. Um, it's just a normal countertop. Then all you really have to do is just open up your rulers by doing Control R. Right click and make sure it's in percent and drag this ruler to 50 and this ruler to 50 as well. Um, if it doesn't go quite there, just zoom in. Now you want to start by taking the top half and holding control and alt, dragging down and go to edit, transform, uh, flip vertical and as you can see this already makes it pretty uh, symmetrical now I like to do this at 50 and at 25 percent um, you want to make sure that it's exact because if it's not then it, it won't line up There we go. Um, you can hold shift to make your ruler snap. Then you just take this one, control alt, and then you can do edit, transform, flip vertical, and then take this, control alt again. And that's actually good. So you can do this as many times as you like. I'm just going to stop here. After this, you want to do the same thing from left to right. Uh, I'd pick the one that's that's brighter, but I did that last time, so I might as well go with the one that's darker. Again, just drag, select it, control, alt, drag. But this time you're going to want to do edit, transform, flip horizontal and that'll make it be like symmetrical this way so drag your ruler whoops drag your ruler out again to 25 uh, as you can see here it'll switch between 24 and 26 so to solve that I'm just going to zoom in there we go and another one at 75. Now take this. Drag it. Edit. Transform. And I guess I can do again because the last thing I did was flip horizontal. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Same thing. All right. Now, uh, after this, it's pretty much just up to you. I guess I'll do that, drag it here, and here, and I'll take this middle, drag it here, and here. 
And as you can see, I get rid of these rulers. It's a pretty convincing repetition effect that has no gaps. And if you want to get that like feet thing that a lot of these seem to have, just drag in like a picture with you standing or something, and then use what's called the quick selection tool and just drag over near feet and legs like so. It's not wanting to do it, so I'm going to copy it up here instead. There we go. All right, now control X, control V, and again, edit, transform. This time I'll do rotate 90 counterclockwise and just bring it down. That pink line is the middle, so this right here is good. And there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want a tutorial for anything else, just feel free to request it and I'll do my best. And um, that's about it. Thank you.